Hello, my knife friends. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Uh, today I have for you a Great Eastern Cutlery Horse Apple Hogan in a Texas Osage Orange Wood and Stainless Steel. It comes in this tube and there's a uh, really long description here on the Osage Orange Wood. I kind of broke it down a little bit, but there's a lot to read here. It tells about this wood and uh, what it was used for and everything. So I will let you uh, let you know about that right now, and then we'll take a look at the knife. Okay, the the Osage Orange Tree is also known as Bodark Hedge, Apple, Prairie Hedge, Yellow Wood, Bow Wood. Naranjo, Chino, or Horse Apple. And uh, a Plains Indian would trade a horse and a blanket for a bow made of Osage Orange Wood. That's how highly prized it was. Uh, Osage Orange is also stronger and harder than even White Oak. Uh, it is very decay resistant. It was used on wagon wheels, rail railroad ties, fence posts, bows, knife handles and it is highly durable uh, so it can it maybe it was used for uh, many other type of handles maybe for axe handles and other things too but it was a really prized wood and uh, it's kind of scarce now I guess today and it's not used uh, for large pieces of lumber for uh, for things but mostly for like knife handles and like smaller items so this uh, this is the Horse Apple GEC. It's number 65112233. Texas Orange Wood. Osage Orange. And here's the knife. And I forgot to measure it before I made this video, so let's take a look and see what it is. So the knife comes in around four and a half inches long and it's got either a nickel or a stainless steel bolster here. I'm not sure about that. And it's got brass pins and it has this uh, cord on here with this aluminum uh, acorn on the end here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep this cord here or if I'm going to replace it with uh, with leather. I might just leave it as it is. But I like that little acorn pole on here. The aluminum pole. And let's see the knife blade. So it's got a nice half stop here. Nice and solid. With a nice click. You can hear that. And there's the blade. It's a nice clip point blade. And the blade measures let's see what it is here. It comes out to three and a half inches. And the cutting edge is more like three and one fourth cutting edge on this blade. It's a stainless steel blade. I believe it's 420. Uh, HC but I'm not sure and I don't know about the hardness if it's 58 to 60 or whatever I'm not sure about that but take a look at that knife it's nice and uh, it's a nice slim slender knife and it's got a really nice handle to it nice feel this will make a great uh, food prep knife uh, if, you, if you're a hunter I guess you can use it for for game birds uh, I would use it for fishing since I'm a fisherman, so uh, because it's stainless steel, I guess it would be really good for that, for my trout fishing. And the overall length of this knife is, let's see if I get that on, it's hard to get the stuff on the camera here. It's um, about around 8 inches. Eight and one sixteenth or so. 
Now these uh, Hogan uh, knives, they came uh, with different handles and uh, a lot of the other ones I have seen did not have uh, the lanyard uh, hole here for the for the end. And uh, this one does. And look at the how nice these handles are, the Osage Orange. And uh, with time and use, uh, this is going to get darker. Uh, once you get your the oils from your hand on the handles and everything, uh, the wood will get darker. And the spine is perfect. There's just no gaps or anything on the knife. It's nice and clean, nice and flush. Beautiful workmanship by GEC as usual. Uh, nice brass uh, liners on the inside. The blade here a little. So how do you guys like this one? It's a real beauty. You don't see uh, many reviews on this version on YouTube. I think I might be the only one that's uh, reviewing the, the horse Apple Hogan. Um, and these are dropping right now at different retailers. So check them out at, uh, when they come up. If you can grab one. You know, I was lucky to get this one. Uh, they're not easy to get. You know, they sell out really fast. I would say in about a minute or two they're gone. But uh, check that out. Really nice. I like the the size and this style of knife. It's uh, really suited to what I like in my knives with that type of blade shape and blade size. Yeah, if you can get a GEC, you know, they're really nice knives and worth the, the cost. Uh, and they also have a great resale value too if you don't want to keep it or if you have to sell it. But uh, why would you, you know, they're really nice. So that's the Horse Apple Hogan. And uh, I think I dragged the video out a little bit longer than usual. Okay, guys and gals, I hope you have a nice day. And hopefully I'll make another video if I can. Take care.